Tonight we're hearing from family of one of the men murdered at a Harvey shipyard yesterday, and they say they were unaware of any issues that would cause a disgruntled ex-employee to kill two former co-workers. WGNO's Jordan Lippincott joins us from Harvey with more. Jordan. Kurt. Kurt, the staff here at FMT Shipyard spoke to the victim's families today to offer their condolences. The victims who were maintenance workers, the staff says, will be greatly missed. It's around. Can't avoid it. Some people get crazy. It was business as usual at FMT Shipyard Tuesday morning, a day after an ex-employee walked onto the grounds and allegedly shot and killed 20-year-old Dustin Perry Jr. and 48-year-old Nikki Brown. My son was a great young man, and he didn't bother nobody, and he always loved to joke at home and stuff like that to keep us laughing and stuff. Brown's family arrived at the shipyard Tuesday hoping to find out how the alleged gunman gained entry. When I got a call from my AT, she said, look, it was dead. I said, no, I just talked to him at 8.30 that morning. He said, I'm doing fine. I just called you last night at 11 o'clock just to kick the breeze, you know, joking around. And then 12 o'clock, I get a call, he dead. He dead. I glad to well talk to him. Brown's family says it's not anyone's fault, but are still in shock. When you go to work, you're supposed come to come home. home. Everybody expects you to come home, man. Not to go to work and die. A safety meeting was held this morning, and grief counselors were available on site. Kurt? Uh, unbelievably sad. All right, thank you, Jordan Lippincott, reporting for us.